Hi, and welcome back to my tutorials on CSS. In our last tutorial, we went ahead and created a simple CSS navigation menu using images for rollovers. And you can see the effect that we've created here. Now, I'm in my HTML, and here is the code that we use to form that navigation menu. And you can see it's just a simple unordered list, and each one of the list items actually is identified uniquely with a class style. Now, the anchor tag that's inside of the li, inside of the list item, is right here. And you can see there's nothing inside of the anchor right now. This entire button is being created with CSS. So that leaves us with a problem. What if somebody looks at our website in a browser that doesn't support CSS, like Lynx, a text browser? Or what happens if somebody, perhaps using a screen reader, comes along and they aren't going to be able to use CSS? Or search engines are another good um, example of this. Since there's no content inside of the anchor, if I turn off the styles, either by deleting the link to it or commenting it out, or just simply coming up here to view and turning off the styles. We'll go ahead and I'm just going to comment that out right now. You're going to see that we have nothing at all except for these two bullet points. So that's a problem that we need to correct. I'm going to come back into my regular view now. And I'm actually going to undo that last change. So now my styles are back, and when I come over here, you'll see the buttons are back. So we need to place some content inside of this anchor tag so that people that don't view the CSS will know what that link is. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click in the middle of these anchors, and I'm going to go ahead and use the span tag. And inside of the span, span tag, I'm going to go ahead and type the name of the button, which in this case is home. And then I'll do that one more time down here, the span tag. And I'm going to go ahead and do about. And if you go to our videos on HTML, you'll see um, a short video on what the span tag is and what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. When I click over here, you're going to see that those two text links appeared in the button. You're also going to see my rollover effect still works. So now we have some text there for people who don't um, use CSS. Now the problem is we obviously don't want this text link to show up on our button when we actually look at it with the CSS enabled. So we need to go ahead and hide the text links. So I'm going to come into my CSS here, and I'm going to add a new style. In this case, I'm going to say anytime there's an anchor tag inside of an li, and you find the span tag, I want to apply the property display none. You probably saw that coming. So I've gone ahead and said, don't display any of the contents inside of the span tag. Go ahead and save that. And now when we click over here, you're going to see those text links disappeared. But they're still there. And if we look in the source code, there they are. If we disable styles, you'll also see that. I'm going to go ahead and go to view. And I'm going to come down to style rendering. And this actually goes off the page. But you're going to see there's a checkbox for display to styles. And actually, I need to jump out of live view before I do that. Oops. So now I'm just in design view. I'm going to go to view, style rendering, and I'm going to uncheck display styles. And now you're going to see the bullets are back, but those text links appear also. So when you can't, or so when you are seeing the CSS, you're going to get these buttons. When you're not seeing the CSS, all you're going to get are those text links. And that's exactly what we want. So that pretty much finishes what we need to do to create 
this CSS image rollover menu. If you go ahead and take a look at our finished project number three, um, we go ahead and use this technique. So in that video, you can see these buttons become a part of an actual design. And again, that's project number three.